alifanyika kondo alifanyika kondo na ujue ni Mungu Yesu alikuwa Mungu Yesu ni Mungu akaacha ufalme wote akaacha kila kitu kule juu akaacha mamlaka yote akaacha kila kitu Biblia inauliza katika kitabu cha Revelation chapter 5 who shall I send nani ataenda nani ataenda kuokoa watu wangu hakukuonekana mtu yoyote mbinguni hakukuonekana mtu yoyote duniani isipokuwa Yesu mwana wa mwana kondoo wa Mungu alikuwa mwana wa kondoo wa Mungu Yesu ndiye alipatikana kama msamaha wetu let us cry for Jesus he is a faithful God Mikaela walikataa wa maraika wote walikataa hakuna maraika angekuja kutuokoa lakini Mungu akajitoa akaacha mamlaka yake let me go for them there is no greater love than this that a man dies for his friends hakuna upendo ulio mwingi kama huu akaacha mamlaka yote akatuona tukiwa kwa dhambi akatuona tukiwa kwa usherati akatuona tukiwa kwa pombe akatuona tukiwa tunafanya yale mambo yote he came for us he came to rescue us we were dying we were messed up there was nothing to save us there was nothing to rescue us but the jesus the lamb of god jesus the lion of judah he came for us and he said i'll leave my throne i'll leave the authority i'll go down to the level of man i'll go down beyond the level of man to the level of an animal an animal that is very dull an animal that is not not recognize him and not anyone that has no name um, I'll go to that level so that I can save mankind what to all what my kind of love is this uh, that Jesus has loved us with him alijipeana yeye mwenyewe akutuma mtu yeye ndiye alijipeana alijua yeye ni Mungu alijua yeye ako na kila kitu lakini hakutosheka na hiyo aliona maana yetu aliweka ufalme wake pande hii akaweka kila kitu ambacho alikuwa nacho barabara za dhahabu na utukufu wote alikuwa nayo akaweka pande hii na akatuweka pande hii gine aka aka divario what he was carrying and he valued us and he came for William and he came for Richard and he came for Esther Kia he loved you before you were born he loved you when you are still sinner he loved you when you are still drunk adam when he loved you when you were in sexual immorality alikupenda ukiwa mwislamu alikupenda ukiwa kwa buda akakuendea wewe akasema unikubali usinikubali i'll die for your sins i'll die for your life i am the way the truth and life i must come for you yesu akakuja aka kufia akafanyika kodoo hakukuja kufunika dhambi hakukuja kufunika dhambi alikuja kuondoa dhambi alikuja kuondoa dhambi dhambi zetu zote hazikufunikiwa wakati wa kondom zilikuwa zinafunikwa kwa hivyo ungefunua dhambi zilikuwa pale lakini wakati Yesu alikuja the bible says he took away the sins he took away the sins ukiangalia pale there is no sin ukiangalia pale the sins has been taken away i am no longer a sinner my sins has been taken away and now remember you are sins no more as far as as east as from the west i have um, I, i have separated you with your sins and god is not remembering your sins god is not remembering your past yes you were aborted yes you miscarried yes you did all what you did but you have been forgiven your sins has been taken away your sins has been carried away there is no no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus you don't have any condemnation let no man cheat you that you are a sinner you are no longer a sinner as long as Christ is in you as as long as 
Yes, Christ is reigning in your life. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. We are the new creation. In him we walk, in him we live, in him we have our being. Christ is the Alpha and Omega. He is the one who took our praise. I was a sinner. Jesus took my praise and I took his praise. He took my sins. I took his righteousness. When God is looking at me, he is seeing Jesus. He is seeing nothing else. He is seeing Jesus. As many as have received him, he gave them power to become sons. We have the power to become sons. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are genuine sons of the Lord.